There are big decisions that Congress is going to make this spring, fast track. I think it's got to be rejected unconditionally. I don't see why there has to be any specific legislative authority for the president to pursue trade agreements. The president could do anything that, that, that he feels like in various areas. Um, he already does, and trade should not be any exception. He should be free to pursue whatever trade agreements he seek, that he wants and bring them back to the U.S. Congress, which should have the authority to deal with them as it deals with every other area of U.S. public policy, making whatever changes they want to and talking about them for as long as they want to. And what Fast Track does is it limits debate, it's only a few hours, and it forces that up or down vote, as you all know. Why was that done? To shut domestic producer and worker interests out of the trade policy making process. Why did the Constitution require that Congress handle trade policy? Because it knew that the legislature was the closest, was, was the branch of the American government closest to and most accountable to the American people. And Fast Track recognizes that and recognizes that that can only muck up the works. So we're going to cut those interests out by cutting their branch of government out, except in this nominal way. We'll let them vote on it. We'll let them talk about it for a few hours. To me, that's completely unacceptable and has to be with, withdrawn and simply, got, and simply eliminated. No fast track. The president is free to do whatever he wants to. Congress is free to do whatever it, whatever it wants to. That's the way public policy is made. Across the board in this country, I see no reason to make trade an exception at all. Second, the free trade agreements that are all lined up and waiting to go are all completely worthless and they should be rejected. More broadly, we need a moratorium on new trade agreements. Clearly, this country does not know how or does not want to pursue trade agreements that expand production at home and that create more opportunity at home. We're much better at at producing trade agreements that send production overseas and export jobs. That's not acceptable anymore either. And until we figure out how to do trade right in a way that promotes the interests of the great, of the great majority of the American people, no more trade agreements. Stop the bleeding. Do no more harm. And I think we need what's been called by some folks a trade moratorium, by others a, a strategic pause. I don't especially care what its label is, but clearly, before we go forward, let's figure out how to do this right. <clears throat>